So we've made a double chocolate zucchini bread that's absolutely delicious, but we still have a ton of zucchini left over, even just from the one that we shredded for the zucchini bread. So let's switch it up and do a savory recipe this time and make some zucchini fritters. Now I'm not even a huge fan of zucchini, but I really like these fritters and I gobbled up the whole batch for my lunch that day. Now we need to start with some shredded zucchini and if you watched our other zucchini recipe video, we will kind of speed through this step just because you don't need to watch the second time but all we're going to do is shred our zucchini in a food processor with the grating attachment or with a box grater then we need to remove some of the moisture from the zucchini and instead of putting it on a kitchen towel like we did for the zucchini bread we are going to put it in a sieve or a colander and we're going to sprinkle one teaspoon of salt on it and we're going to let it sit for at least 10 minutes 20 minutes is better it's going to pull some of the moisture out and let us squeeze out all the extra water and it's going to make our fritters hold together better. So it's been 20 minutes, so now it's time to squeeze out our zucchini. Now I just did it with my hands and put it into another bowl so it didn't go back into the wet bowl. But you can also, if you have cheesecloth or a nut milk bag, or you could even put it into a dish towel and then twist it and get all the water out. If you don't want to use your hands, go ahead and use that. But this way works just fine. Once you've got all the moisture out, we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. So we're gonna crack one egg. We're gonna crack it into a separate bowl so we can give it a quick whisk before we dump it in the zucchini. Next, we're gonna add our dry ingredients, starting with our almond flour. It's going to act as a binder in our fritters. We're starting with a quarter cup because this will vary based on the moisture content left in your zucchini. And we'll add a little bit more later. Then we did a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. We didn't add any extra salt because I wasn't sure how much salt would be left after salting and squeezing out the zucchini. It's still a little bit wet, so I'm gonna add another tablespoon of almond flour and mix that in. And then I decide I'm going to do one more just to get it the right consistency that it's easy to pick up with your hands and form into patties. Once you've reached a good consistency, we're going to grab, you can have a tray or a baking sheet, something with parchment paper on it. And we're just going to form our patties. I grabbed a cookie scoop because I have one handy, but feel free to just eyeball it and make them whatever size you like. I do like to press them down to about a quarter inch thick just so that they can cook all the way through before they get too dark on the outside. We ended up making seven using the cookie scoop. Now grab your favorite frying pan or non-stick skillet and get that heating over medium heat. Here at the bakery, I have one of these pancake griddles, which I absolutely love because it's so non-stick and easy cleanup. So that's what we're using here. While that's heating up, I'm gonna actually take this baking sheet from out from under the fritters and I'm gonna put it under this cooling rack. If you don't have a cooling rack, set up a plate with some paper towel. This just kind of helps drain off some of the extra oil once they're cooked. Next, we're going to spray our cooking surface with some spray oil. I've got an avocado spray that I love and it's more so for browning purposes than for actual non-stickness. So we probably could fit all seven on here and cook them all at once, but just to make sure that we get them nice and brown and even, I'm going to just start with three and then I'm gonna cook the other four afterwards. I ended up starting a timer and cooking them for four minutes each side. And when they're nice and golden brown, move them to your cooling rack or your plate with paper towel and put your second set on. Again, four minutes aside till nice and golden brown. Then I decided I was going to put some flaky sea salt on top. I ended up making a quick yogurt sauce, added a bit of garlic powder, onion powder, salt. Went really well with these guys. This is a great idea if you have a ton of zucchini, you can food prep a whole big batch of these and freeze them and then reheat them in an air fryer. They reheat really well. And if you still have zucchini left over, try this recipe next. <laughs> 